coming up on Double Take Sports Talk with the Watch Brothers, we will have your previews and predictions for the St. Louis Cardinals versus the Chicago Cubs, along with our headlines and final thoughts. So stay tuned because Double Take Sports Talk is next. Double Take Sports Talk. Welcome to our podcast with me, Darren Watts. Say hello, Darren Watts on the other side. What's going on, man? Darren Watts. What's happening? What's so, up? Just there in the day, man, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. That seems fair to me. Yeah. Absolutely. That seems fair. Always seems fair. Well, all right. We have our previews and predictions for both Chicago Cubs, St. Louis Cardinals. They are facing off game two. You ready? Let's do this, man. Let's, Let's do, do this. it. Let's do it. Previews, predictions. St. Louis Cardinals, Chicago Cubs. Here we go. We have... The St. Louis Cardinals and the Chicago Cubs today, the 77 and 70 Cardinals against the 81 and 66 Cubs. First pitch, 4 or 5 p.m. at Wrigley Field. Projected starting pitcher for the St. Louis Cardinals. I'm not used to this. No, I ain't either. Projected starting pitcher for the St. Louis Cardinals is Michael Wichaw. He is 12 and 7 on the year with a 3.99 ERA and 190. I'm sorry, 139 strikeouts. One strikeouts in the starting pitcher right now. The starting <laughs> pitcher for the Chicago Cubs. You got right-handed pitcher, six and five, Kyle Hendricks. Uh, he has a 3.35 ERA on the uh, year with 103 strikeouts. Uh, of course, he's coming off the loss to the Brewers, in which he gave up three runs over six innings and striking out seven. So since the break, he has uh, been two and two with a 2.58 ERA in 10 starts. All right, a few things to know for uh, today's game, mid-afternoon, evening game. <clears throat> Though both clubs have a plethora of extra arms because of expanded rosters, several key late-inning relievers still may be unavailable for today's game. Cubs Hector Rendon, uh, right elbow, and Koji... Uhara, I believe, with a right knee. Yeah. They're both battling uh, injuries. Of course, uh, Uhara with a right knee injury, too. While St. Louis is. Sang Wan Ho. Sang Wan Ho. Now I figured it was. I was already saying that, too. Sang Wan Ho uh, has a pitch since September 7 due to uh, right hamstring tightness. Uh, Wrigley will be buzzing with activity for pitchers thrown on Saturday as the Cubs, Jake Iretta, and the Cards, Adam Rainwright, are scheduled to throw pregame bullpen sessions. Okay. That don't mean they're starting. No, it's just weird that they're doing that and yeah. they're starting pitchers. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, those sessions could be the final hurdles for both veteran starters before they are cleared to reach out. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense now. Uh, Arietta has been sidelined since September 4th for the right hamstring injury, and Rainwright is recovering from a right elbow impingement that has kept him out since August 18th. And the last thing to know for this game, uh, how which off flares on Saturday may come down to be the uh, – wow. Um, it's okay, dude. Navigates, thank you, through 
the number two, the number three hitters in the Cubs lineup. Chris Bryant and Anthony Rizzo are combined 25 for 61 with five home runs and 14 RBIs against Rich Hall. That is the previews for the St. Louis Cardinals versus the Chicago Cubs. With that being said, uh, Daryl, considering that the Cubs won last night, uh, eight to two, um, I have to say this: home field advantage. I'm going with the Cubs. I agree. I agree. Uh, I have a feeling that. It might go the other way. Nope. But I agree. I think the Cubs are going to pull this one out. Yeah, yeah. Um, Cubs are going to pull it out game two and game three. This ain't going to be no sweep. Come on, man. We yeah. go through this every time. Yeah, that's going to be a sweep. It's going to be a sweep. Every series that we done said, you said there's going to be a sweep. It ain't been no sweep yet. I always think the worst case scenario with the Cardinals because they always usually come out that way 90% of the time anyway. Well, actually, to be honest, it comes out like 2% of the time for you. No, nah, they usually come out to be. That's the previews and predictions for the Chicago Cubs and the St. Louis Cardinals. Dummy. Headlines, NBA, NFL, and MLB. Daryl, it's yours. All right, folks, here we go. Here's your headlines of the sports world of NBA, NFL, and MLB for September 16, 2017. And just to throw it out there for all the video game fans out there, NBA Live 18 and NBA 2K18, both available on all platforms, PlayStation 4, Xbox, Xbox One, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 6, whatever, whatever platform you have is available now. I'm getting mine. I'm getting mine too. You you know it. Get it. Yeah, you already yeah. know this. Mm -hmm. It's beast mode time. James already got his, so I'm going to get mine here soon. That's right. All right, right to it. Um, of course, all the NBA teams, I believe it's 32. Yeah. Um, they all unveiled their – Nike, new Nike jerseys and gears and all that beautiful stuff. And also on a report, uh, NBA is to vote on draft lottery reform. Hmm. That's going to be very interesting due to the 1985 draft. So, no kidding. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting. They should have something to wear. Like, they should just automatically have somebody, like a machine or something, do it themselves. Okay. Anyway, uh the New Orleans Pelicans add a free agent to their roster, which that is one Tony Allen. Tony Allen, excuse me. And also there's another report that Jason Terry is returning to the Bucks. I think that has been official. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it has. On to the NFL side, Odell Beckham Jr. Is he junior or is he the third? Junior, okay. Um, he is questionable to play against the uh, Lions, of course. Um, Bradford is set to play. Of course, I still think he's going to be a game time decision on the uh, MRI with his knee. And the Bengals fire offensive coordinator Ken Ken Sapansi. I was looking for that. Yeah, dude. Thanks to that no scoring touchdown offense. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, the Colts plan to start Jacoby Brissett, Darren, against the uh, Cardinals. About time. Yeah. So I, said, I was waiting for that. Yeah. In the last podcast, I was waiting on it. Yep. This, if he was smart, he will start him. Exactly. Exactly. Um, Richard Sherman is a game time decision. One of probably, I think, 26 of uh, injuries, a game time decision. Uh, he's going to be a game time decision for the Hawks and 49ers game. They don't need him anyway. All right. In the MLB. Uh, the streak is over, just like the other takers a few years back. The Indians lost last night. They uh, had their streak snapped by the I-70 rivals of the St. Louis Cardinals, the Kansas City uh, Royals. Um, yep, that's all I got. That's all I got for the MLB, NFL, NBA sports world for September 16, 2017.
All right. Final thoughts. Is there you guys think for us? Nope. I don't need it. Faker. Yeah. All right. If there's nothing else, we can just go ahead and get up on out of here. Let's do it. All right. That is another edition of Don't Take Sports Talk. If you like what you see, you just give this video a thumbs up. How you feel about today's show, you can just comment in the comment section below. As usual, we are here. Uh, we're on the social media sites of Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. You can hit us up there also. Have any questions for us, anything in particular, don't care what it is, just hit us up to the social media sites. We'll respond the best way we can. But until then, I'm Duro. Darius on the opposite side. Yep. All right, catch up with us on another episode of Double Take Sports Talk. Until then, ciao. ciao. Double Take Sports Talk here with me, Daryl Watts. As many of you know, me and Daryl enjoy talking sports and giving out stats, but we also enjoy entertaining while doing it. So with that being said, you can check us out on the social media side and get more involved in our podcast. Or we're on Twitter at DTST2414, or you like us on Facebook, Double Take Sports Talk page at The Watch Brothers. We're also on YouTube. Like, share, do what you gotta do with that. Once again, we don't mind. <laughs> also, we are finally back on the podcast app for audio-only purposes for those who enjoy audio-only of our podcast. We're also on the blog, Feature Critical Thinking of Analysis, and you can check that out at DoubleTakeSportsTalk.blogspot.com. Thanks again.